is engagement. It's when two people decide to get married. Uncle Charles and Nikki auntie is getting married. Mm-hmm. Are you guys ready? I know what I want. We have to wait. Done. For what? Uncle Charles. That's why he insisted on coming here. Charles wanted to introduce Ananya to us as his fiance. It's not like we don't know her already. I'm not crazy about having Ananya in my family either. Mommy, can I still marry Nikki? Why do you want to marry Nikki? She asked me to marry him. Well, you can tell Nikki that he can wait until you're 30. No, 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 no. 40 years old. Glad to hear that Kala is responding well to therapy. Well, there are good days and bad days. And some days you hit a roadblock. Is everything okay? Young's still incommunicado. So the therapist suggested that I work on my emotional health and getting over you. And how are you holding up? It's been tough, but I'm slowly adjusting. So long you're not burying yourself in work. The good thing about not being a surgeon anymore is that there's not enough work to bury me. I'll be there in a minute. And Chen? Do you need to go? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, we'll talk later. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Well, thank you all for joining us for breakfast this morning. First of many, I hope, since we're going to be family soon. Here, here. A toast to the lovely couple. Congratulations. Congratulations, Uncle Chat and Auntie Ananya. Congratulations to me too. Disneyland! Nope, no Disneyland for you, Nikki. So you might want to reconsider your congratulations. It's okay. Mm. I still like Uncle Charles. Mm. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's my uncle's house. He's mine. Oh, no, no it's okay. he's mine. Wait, 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 no, wait, no, no. Wait, like, wait, kids, come here. Ah, no, 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 no. You forget one thing, though, huh? You forget one thing. I'm Auntie Ananias. That's right. So both of you better back off. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, thank you, Kenna. Nikki, Maxine, your support means a lot to us. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. <laughs> Congratulations, Daika and Anya. Thanks, Emily. Marriage is hard work, but I'm sure God will do everything he can to make you happy, Ananya. Hello, Dr. Jin. Is this handsome? Oh, yeah. Is Ella around? It's a Shen. Hello, Shen. Hey, Ella. Are you free to meet? I, um... I have to get my mind off you, and you're the only person I can talk to. But if you're busy, it's okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll see you later. I'll get the bill. Oh, I got it. It's okay, the boss always picks up the tent. Sorry. It's okay. Fine. It's all yours. It certainly is. It seems that whatever happened between you and Nanya, it's in the past. Whatever's happening between you and Emily, fix it. Is that what this breakfast was all about? Like speaking from experience, it'll take a lot more than one breakfast to play happy families. Well, I look forward to many more breakfasts like this to come. Whatever it takes to keep the woman in our lives happy. Thank you for doing this, Emily. For making an effort. I know this must be really uncomfortable for you. I'm doing this for my brother. My brother has never allowed himself to be vulnerable to anyone. So if you ever break his heart... I won't. I'll never do that. Don't make promises you can't keep. 
I always mean what I say. Hey, what are you two talking about? You. Emily was just telling me what a great brother you are. Oh, what did she say? Oh, uh, that's our secret. OK, all washed up and ready to go. Uh, thank you for the entertaining, um, interesting. Thanks for breakfast, Charles. Let's go, Emily. OK. OK, uh, I think we two should leave, too. Yeah, uh, bye. Thank you, yeah. guys. Bye. See ya. See you. Mm. So, what was uh, this breakfast all about, hmm? Well, they're our family. We will get their blessings. By hook or by crook. Still can't get a hold of Louis? Yeah, his PA says he's in a meeting. Again? He's been really busy. Well, of course, he's the CEO of KSUH. And finally, not distracted by the money-grabbing woman. Melody? Who else, dear? Cece, what if Louis is distracting himself at work instead of dealing with his feelings for Melody? He has no feelings for Melody. I won't allow it. He's just focused, no longer distracted by that woman who's just bad news. I don't know. Well, I do. He's my son and he's fine, better than fine. I'm going back to Hong Kong this week. Oh, the newly engaged couple will now be separated. No, I'm not. Yeah, going to join me over the weekend. <laughs> but I can still be reached by email or phone. Don't you dare. No screw ups. Roger that. Auntie May, when I want to apologize for how things ended between you and I. What happened has happened. I just don't understand. You went after her. You waited for her. You even asked me for my blessing. How come suddenly you changed your mind? I guess I realised that I can't be the husband that Yoke needs. She deserves better. I hope Matthew can be the husband that Yokes deserves. So I heard James postponed a meeting yesterday because of a family emergency. Yeah, he did. And Joseph mentioned that you stepped out around the same time? I had something urgent to attend to. Hmm. I see. You don't believe me? I do. If you want me to believe you, I, I will believe you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That means I trust you, no matter what you do. Whether you lie to me or not. So nothing else you want to tell me? Family meeting. Yeah, my dad called for it last minute and insisted everyone turn up. Including Ananya? Yes. So what was it about? Um, I wasn't there. I couldn't make it because of work. Do you know the agenda? You know my dad's very protective of Ananya and how much he kind of, you know, hates you. So this family meeting was to convince Ananya to break it off with me? I don't know. My mom's terrible at reporting what happened. She went on and on, off on crazy tangents, and I stopped listening. I see. I also did a bit of online shopping. It's actually quite addictive, you know. I really had to stop myself from buying all those useless gadgets. It's good to keep yourself busy. Well, you know me. I'm not a people person, and my only hobby is my work. It's hard to find your bearings after having your life revolve around one person for so long. 
thankfully have your friendship. You have no idea how much you have helped me. Talking to you always makes me feel better. Lately, I've been catching up with people. People whom I've hurt and avoided in the past. Just to clear the air and get some closure. It will get better. You just have to press on. I don't think I'll ever stop loving you. Even if it means loving her from afar. Ava. What do you want? Come on, admit it. I read your mind. Well, shut up and start pouring then. We can pretend it's coffee. <laughs> so, I heard that yesterday, Dad was trying to dissuade Ananya from making the biggest mistake of her life. Yeah, that did not end well. It's like she's moving on, isn't it? Well, you know, that's her choice. But of all people, Charles. He's a good catch. And it hurts like hell? Ananya and I were done a long time ago. But there was some hope. Hope? Yeah, with Kenneth and his kids. She was safe. Look, he's a friend, nothing more. Yeah, you couldn't have her, but neither could anyone else. It made your marriage less difficult to accept. But now all you're left with is the finality of your marriage with Emily. But have you ever thought that maybe marrying Emily could be less of a terrible thing? You never gave your marriage a shot. You never gave her a fair chance. But now maybe you can. <laughs> Emily is having an affair, remember? She waited for you a long time. Maybe if you started paying her the attention she deserves, she might remember it's you she's always loved, right from the beginning. I've been seeing a lot of you lately, Charles. Can't say I like it. Well, believe me, it's mutual. So I heard you had one of your famous family meetings yesterday. What's it to you? It's got plenty to do with me if it involves Ananya. She's not your family. She's not yours either. Not yet. Ananya's like a daughter to me. If you were using her just to mess with me. Uh, no, messing with you is just a bonus. And why do you care anyway? She's just an employee to you. You're making use of her to get to me. Hogwash. How could I make use of her? I took her in when her mother died. I mentored her, I taught her everything she knows. She used to hang on to my every word. And now, now with you in the picture, she defies me. She didn't even defy me when I told her to leave James. You told her to leave James? Yes, and she listened. She used to listen to everything I said. She knows it's all about the big picture for the greater good. Yeah, the greater good of the Shelleys. For everyone and for her as well. Her fate's tied to ours, she knows that. She's a sensible girl. She's like a daughter to me. And now, because of you, she's defying me. Taking everything I've done for her and throwing it back into my face. She didn't even do that for James. You have fooled her so well. Shame on you, Charles. Shame on you. Oh, well, shame on you, Uncle Derek. You and James. You never really appreciated what you had. Now, if you did, there's no way in hell you would have let her go. So let me tell you, I will not let go. I will never let go of Ananya. Now, if you still want her in your life, you better get used to it. Yes, Ella. Uh, Shira, I'm worried. Young hasn't appeared in weeks, and, and the new altar, the guy who... Maybe I should tell Shen about the new altar. But Yang said Shen cannot know. But I feel like I'm betraying Shen's trust by keeping this from him. Yang is Shen's protector. If he says Shen can't deal with it, then I think we need to trust Yang. Also, Shen's still trying to get over Yoke. Finding out about the altar might stress him out. Just be there for Shen. Help him get over Yoke. Okay. So I see Shen's back on the radar again. Contrary to what you believe, I'm not chasing him. 
I would spend the whole afternoon talking to him. Shen looked for me, not the other way around. Have you told him? How you tried to break him and yoke up? Shen decided to end things with Yoke. It has nothing to do with me. Then you should be able to tell him the truth. Thank you for coming to the breakfast today and not... Making a scene? Yes. <laughs> well, I almost made a scene. I warned Ananya that if she ever broke your heart, I'm going after her. You did? Mm -hmm. Well, that's impossible. I don't have a heart that can be broken. Don't say such things. You're just tempting fate. Okay, okay. Thank you for having my back and being my protector. Well, it's only fair. You've been my protector all these years. Hey, come here. Ananya in my life doesn't mean you're less important. I will always protect you. You know that, right? Hey, do you want to have dinner together? Uh, not really. Come on, we already had the after dinner drinks. Um... She's kind, she's beautiful, and you have a daughter who thinks the world of you. James, it's always been right in front of you. You never had to work hard for it. Still here. My meeting just ended. Oh, how did it go? Good. Managed to nail down a few sponsorships for the Shelley Foundation. Oh, are you uh, are you enjoying it? Yes, very much. Oh, you were uh, you were talking to Maywan earlier. Um, was she telling you how Hawk's doing? No, she didn't. I assume he's on the men. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll see you at home. Oh, hey. Busy day. Mm. Haven't seen you the whole day except for breakfast this morning, which was interesting. <laughs> How so? For one, your engagement to Charles officially establishes your allegiance to the Kwans, which officially makes you a pro Kwan camper. <laughs> my marriage to Charles and my work are totally separate. You can draw the line. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why Charles likes me. I'm my own person. <laughs> always have been, always will be. Agreed. <laughs> Mrs. Kwan. Davis Kwan. Hope he knows that. <laughs> well, we haven't discussed it yet. Hey, look. No matter what happens, my promise to Deanna still stands. Okay? You and the kids will always be a huge part of my life. That will never change. I know. Thank you. And Diana would be very happy for you. As am I. Hey, bro son. Julius, for the last time, I'm not your bro son here. I'm your CEO. Oh, I thought it's okay for me to call you bro son after office hours. It's never okay. But it's okay if we share a drink together, right? No. But you shared a drink with James just now. One drink, no more. To happiness and good health. What the crap is this? Kombucha. What liquor is this? Oh, it's fermented tea. It's full of probiotics. It really helps your gut flora. You thought it was alcohol? Um, well, we can pretend it's tequila. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So, uh, how are you feeling? Annoying. Good, good. You know, acknowledging your emotions is the first step to inner healing. So, uh, how do you feel when you hear the word melody? I feel like punching someone right now. Wonderful, yeah. Don't sweep your emotions under the rug. You know, um, um, embrace the negativity and, and you'll find inner peace and tranquility as if you're Julius. Do you know that whiskey and gin are made from fermented grain? Really? Yeah, why don't you go look that up? I will. Yeah, might help with your gut, Laura. Louis, you're amazing. Even when you're so conflicted, you're thinking about my well-being. I'm so proud of you, bro, son. Charles, <laughs> someone might walk in on us. Charles, 
What's wrong? Nothing, uh, nothing is wrong. I just... What? What is it? I'm just grateful. Grateful for the forces in the universe that made it possible for you. For you to come into my life. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> now, sorry to make you come all the way down here. I... It's my idea, remember? I want to get some fresh air. Every day, eat and sleep. Ah. I'm thinking of sticking down to the work site to take a look. Now, there's more important things in life than work. Sure not. As someone once said, the most important thing a father can do for their children, love their mother. I failed at that. You know, maybe if I'd worked harder, Emily wouldn't be having an affair. Why are you talking about this now? I realize how much Emily means to me. I can't lose her, Hawk. I am going to fight for my marriage. And I'm going to become the husband that Emily deserves. <laughs> cool. Let's head a day after the alpha testing, hmm? OK. OK, on. OK, see you. Bye. A party to celebrate your newfound freedom? That's a good idea. Oh, no, it's a wrap-up party for Kenneth's project. Sarah, you being free from Razali is worth celebrating too. Like that would sit well with people. Celebrating my divorce. Although I must say that divorcing Razali was the best decision of my life. Well, it doesn't have to be a big affair. You can have a small gathering to reconnect with your friends. 